What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel. We are moving on with our SAT Khan Academy math here for the digital SAT onto lesson six, systems of linear equations, word problems on the level foundation. So if you're watching this series, we're going to bang out four problems. I'm going to explain them as we go, and I will teach through the process of solving. And this is going to be great for anybody who's prepping for this upcoming March SAT or any SAT in the future, if you're watching this in the future, uh, just to go through the foundations and the fundamentals. Obviously, we're going to keep progressing through these uh, these levels and, and take it from there. Sorry, give me one second, guys. I think I have to answer this. Yes. Hello. Hey, Tony, is this Jamie with SIT Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I'll see you then. Thank you so much. You got it. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, sorry guys. That's what happens sometimes. You got to do live stream and you get a call. I have to take it. So I got people coming over in 15 minutes. That's more than enough time. Without further ado, let's do it. Okay. Dan and Mikiko started doing their homework at the same time. It took Dan twice as long. So watch what I'm going to do. It took Dan twice as long to finish his homework than Makiko did. So what we could say is Makiko took X, Dan took 2X. So I'm immediately creating a nice little table. If Dan also took 40 minutes longer than, um, which is the same as X plus 40, so Dan took 40 minutes longer, which of the following systems of the equations can be used to determine the amount of time? Okay, so we're talking about system of equations um, in minutes, and okay, so D is, oh, got it, all right. So this is actually a two variable system. So even though I created this, I can still use it. But if we've got D, and we've got M and we're trying to create a system of equations. We're trying to use those two relationships. So the first thing is, it says that Dan took twice as long as Makiko. So if Makiko did 10, Dan would be 20. 20, Dan would be 40. So I'm piecing it together like that. I'm reading it as an, into an equation. The second one is Dan took, that's my verb, so that's my equal sign, 40 minutes longer than Makiko. There's my system of equations. So let's see which one it is. D equals 2M. D equals M plus 40. They just flip the sides. But it's the same thing. B is the winner. That's how we do it. All right, number two. The given system of equations relates M, the number of shirts Mara owns, and P, the number of shirts Phil owns. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the number seven in the system? Well, M minus seven, what we can say is that Paul would then therefore own seven fewer shirts, I'm mean, sorry, Phil. Phil would then own seven fewer shirts than Mara, right? Because imagine if Mara owns 10 shirts, Phil would own 10 minus seven, which is three. So let's see, Fit Mara own, or we could say this, Mara owns seven more than Phil. And you could just try a couple values, right? 10 and seven, 11 and four, right? So um, what did I say? Mara owns seven, more. yeah, there it is. Mara owns seven more shirts than Phil does. So you can kind of use some different strategies to figure this out, plug and chug. Boom, done. Okay, here we go. Arya has two pet snakes, Mion and Udon. The combined length of the two snakes is 34 inches, and they got variables M and U I can see in this. So the combined length is 34 inches. So watch this. Combined length, meaning adding them together, is 34. The other one, it says Udon is, that's my 2B verb, that's my equal sign, is 12 inches shorter, that's less or minus, than M. Boom, I got my system of equations just from reading it and thinking it through logically. Um, and now let's see, M plus U equals 34, that's out, M plus U equals 34. This one says M minus U equals 12. This is actually correct, uh, C, and I'm gonna show you why. So I know my equations are good, I know they're legitimate, but then I look at this and I'm like, well, it, you know, this one's verbatim, this one's a little bit different, but wait a minute, if I add 12 to this side and I subtract U from this side, I have M minus U is equal to 12. Again, the 12 could be on either side, it's the same thing. So it is C, we'll look at option D just for fun. U minus M is, yeah, so that's backwards, right? So anyways, C is the winner. Um, and then we're just gonna double check, U down is 12 inches shorter. So in my original equation, if M is 24, U down would be 12, so that's correct. All right, last one, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we got our system up here. Ben and Yin are running errands together. The given system of equations relates X, the number of errands Bex has to run, and Y, the number of errands Yin has, based on the system which the following statements are true. So this tells me the two together, 
and, and, and I'm just gonna interpret it quickly before we look at the choices. The two together have 11 errands, and then this one is um, Yin has three more than Bex, right? If Bex had three, Yin would have six. If Bex has seven, Yin would have 10. Okay, let's see. Nope, not what we said. Nope, not what we said. I said that, no, I said that Yin has three more errands to run, which looks like D. Well, let's scroll down a little bit. Yin has three more errands to run than Bex does, and then we're just double checking. Again, Yin is Y, so if Y is six, X would have to be three, and that checks out. So D is indeed the winner, and that's it. So hopefully you've seen some verification methods, some ways to kind of go about this. I like to piece it together into an equation and then look at the answer choices, but there's all these great ways that you can verify whatever answer choice you're selecting. Make sure you're making the right choice. So it doesn't have to be bang on perfect right off the bat, but I hope this makes a lot of sense and I hope this helps you in your journey going forward. If you do like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. I'm going to be here. We're banging out videos on the regular to get you ready for this March digital. SAT, this worldwide debut. Can't wait. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.